Guys, today is a very exciting day because today we get to try out Bailiger? Bailig? I guess it's Bailiger. Bailiger. The fire lightning emperor. I, don't worry, guys. We got another three years to figure out his name. Uh, just like Kabezinoof. Boom. Nailed it. Uh, anyway. So let's take a look at his skills. Let's take a look at the other ones. By the way, uh, yes, I did summon Wusa and Rakan and Laika. I am just that good that I just keep summoning Nat Fives. It couldn't possibly be someone else's account. No, it's Bagel. Okay, fine, it's Robin's account. Fine, it's Robin, because she beat me to it. I didn't have the Water Samurai ready and she beat me to it. <sighs> Damn you, Sparkles. Damn you, Robin Sparkles. Anyway, so let's take a look at him. Uh, let's see what he does. He's got the first skill, uh, text the enemy steals beneficial effect with 50% chance. OMG. Look at those harmful effect rates going up. Okay, so... Oh my god! The nine, nine skill ups, the first skill. Nine skill ups. I just... Oh, that's a lot of skill ups. Okay. Uh, gain knowledge passive. Well, this doesn't need anything, right? Uh, and then we have start of apocalypse, which is three skill ups. So 12 evens out with this not having. By the way, guys, uh, another thing, there is no cooldown on this. You can just keep using it over and over and over again, which is cool. Uh, so we have a passive and we have a third skill that you can just use whenever you want. There's no cooldown. So uh, very interesting. And the leader skill, attack power of ally monsters is 44% in guild content. That's pretty beastly. 44% is pretty beastly. So anyway, uh, we have this, we have the uh, the steel, we have the knowledge. So he gains knowledge when enemy or ally gets defeated. Uh, he can have up to five knowledge and then he does a bunch of damage. He, d he does uh, five hits when he has five knowledge. So let's take a look at him. Let's just, let's just play around with him. Let's play around with him. Let's take him, I'll take him here. Let's take him here. And then we'll take him into some guild wars and then we'll take him into some arena. But I want to get a kind of an idea of how, excuse me, how amazing he can possibly be. So he has no knowledge. So he's like, kindergarten, uh, ooh, there we go. So he stacked three. One kill, he stacked three. Um, okay, so we have start of apocalypse, so it's going to do four hits. Was that, hold on, was that 100,000 damage? We got, we, 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 we gotta go some more. We got, we gotta go, okay, here we go, here we go. We're on one speed. How much damage is this doing? Four stacks. Yo, that is a lot of damage, <laughs> okay. That is a lot of damage. That's pretty crazy. I kinda like that, okay. So now he's got uh, three stacks. Galleon, you're gonna proc? Oh, he has got. Thank you, Galleon. Oh my goodness. And now we're gonna die. And we have Star of Apocalypse every single. Oh, it's a hundred thousand damage skill that you. Oh, no, well, hold on. It was. We were doing like. If we have five stacks. And we were doing. I think we did like 30,000 damage. So we could even, like, that's like 150,000. I, I don't, it was a lot of damage. 100,000 plus damage every single turn. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so start of Apocalypse, let's go again. Let me try to pay attention. It goes so fast. I see 24 and 26. Okay, so it does, it does, it, it poops out. Poops out damage. What? In one hour, 39 minutes, 22 seconds? Though this is going by a fraction of a second, isn't it? So we beat it in one minute, 39. It's got the, it's got extra schmooples of a second. That's what we call them in the industry. We call them schmooples of seconds. So now we have, oh guys, by the way, I want to show you guys this other thing too. If you go to battle, if you go to Kairos dungeon, you can go to rank and it will show you whoever has the fastest, uh, I don't know who Siege 28 is, but okay. He's got the fastest Giants keep uh, right now. Robin hasn't done any giants, of course, since. Uh, but yeah, we can we can finally see who has the best giants time, and that seems like probably a lot of teams are gonna have that very similar. Uh, uh, 
Very fast team for having five stars. Guys, if you know, it's just, uh, there you go. Okay, so anyway, uh, we can see all this. By the way, this is the, remember I was doing a video and I'm like, this guy keeps beating, like, his defense, like, it was ridiculous. That's this guy. That, uh, I couldn't, uh, oh my goodness. Um, okay, so I guess that's what, <laughs> that's one way to it. Anyway, this Lin, this, 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 Five-star to unawakened Lin. This troll Lin. Anyway, you can see all the stuff there. You can see the, the, the fastest teams, but they're going to be the same. Also, people really don't farm dragons. People do that for the, the records, but they really don't farm dragons with Lucian very often. I'm sure maybe some people very rarely do, but it's just... It's, it's not as reliable. It's not as reliable to do that as, as like, okay, take an extra couple seconds. You don't need a 29 second team time every every time. Anyway, let's take it. That doesn't make any sense. Let's take it in some guild battles. Let's go. Uh, ooh, ooh, la la. Yeah, let's take it into this. Okay, let's see who I want to take into these things. I don't even know who I really want to. You know what? I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take. No, I want to take you, I want to take you, I want to take you. I feel like, actually, I should just assume this. Right? That's not just soon. I, I, okay, why am I even taking this? I don't even know why I'm taking this. I'm just curious. I kind of want to, like, not lose the thing entirely. Uh, so for this first team, let's take you and you and the new boy. Looks good. Does it look? Does it look good? It looks good. Looks kind of good. Looks pretty good. Um, are we gonna die super bad with this Chow? I don't think so. I think it's gonna be fine. Let's take. Let's let's see. Let's see though. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I have no idea what kind of runes are gonna be. Oh no. We got a few. Oh, we're still on one. Okay. Let's do Star of Apocalypse. Let's go for. Is it going to keep targeting Chow? I hope it doesn't keep targeting Chow. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Ooh, ouch. Oh, that stings, man. Who do I want to hit? Oh, I knew she was gonna. Fully bless him! Steals beneficial effects. Hey, uh, you know what? I would like that shield. Thank you. No! <laughs> no! Okay. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, cool. Hey now, I like that. I like that. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm enjoying this one. So he's max stacks. And he's got his ultimate again. But he gla he kept glancing, but you guys get the idea. Now we're going to lose this one. Doesn't matter. All good. Uh, how you know, game, you know. Game, you know. Oh, we didn't even have an attack power buff. Cool. Let's go for... I guess we'll go for you. I guess we'll do one of these. I guess we'll do one of these. Full of blossoms! Uh-oh. More trouble. Sierra's in trouble. No, she's not. Just kidding. Uh, There we go with the bomb. Resist stun. And also... There we go. There we go. Full of blossoms! I just want to keep saying it. I'm going to stop myself from saying it over and over and over again. No! No! Oh my god. Yeah, I, I noticed this about you Ciara owners. That I was like, oh, Ciara's so good, Ciara's so good, Ciara's so dangerous. Uh, Ciara does tend to 
need accurate. Well, not because I've seen the runes on this. She actually does have accuracy, but Ciara is still like that. It gets resisted sometimes. It gets resisted. There we go. Um, this is not gonna take out this uh, Camila though. But yeah, I feel what you Ciara owners are. How would I even? I'm not even used to using these units. I don't even know. I think I just like, when I get on other people's accounts, I'm like, let me play with the stuff I don't have. Is this gonna kill through the shield? Or should we just try to go for, maybe we try to, hey, there we go. There we go. I think there's like 65% crit rate, which is not that bad for a Ciara on here. I know the Ciara's actually run pretty well. Okay, stop it. Stop it, Bagel. Stop it. So that should be it, right? Boom. Nice. Should I take all the... Th you know what? You know, Dear Guild, I'm going to take all the threes with her account, and then I'm going to take zeros with my account. To balance it out. To balance. We need to balance. Okay. Looks super sexy. We're gonna make this happen. Yes, same teams. Sure, sure. Ooh. Ooh, but they are not fast. And on will runes. <sighs> Let's see. I mean, still is beneficial, but what do we need to steal that for, right? We have uh, immunity anyway, so it's fine, but... Let's do... No, we didn't get it! We're not even going to hit the ones with... Uh... We're going to, like, wake Chisuna, but we don't have... Uh... You know we could use this every single time though. How many how many hits is Chasun gonna get? Oh 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 oh! I missed so much of that. I'm gonna need to rewatch. I'm literally gonna need to watch my own video to figure out what's going on. That is a lot. And he's already look at this five. Can we kill without the uh, boom 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 boom? Wow, that is amazing. He doesn't. He didn't even have a defense break. He didn't even have a defense break. That oh wow oh don't die don't die don't die don't die. Go team go. Okay awesome. That was, uh, slightly dangerous. Slightly scary. Hey, there we go. The bomb's working today. Also, I don't... Like, I don't know if it's supposed to be, uh... This team specifically used together. So if it's like, That Chasun is moving after the Ciara, like... Ciara's pretty fast on here. I don't think I don't even know if she uses this this team. So, this is not like something she uh, she already did. She's like, oh my goodness, I have this team. That's my best Robin Sparkles impression. <gasps> These things happen. All right, cool, 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 cool. Man, that's pretty awesome, though. That's pretty awesome. That wreck and face. And I will personally take all of the zeros to make up for the threes. Ooh, never mind. Or I'll take, is there a decent zero here? Because we don't really, we don't even have that rule in this, in, in, in this guild. None of these seem uh, challenging. No offense. Oh no, what did I start now? Hey, here we go, here we go. Samoth comes back and destroys, right? Samoth comes back and destroys. Oh no. Oh no. So it should be fine. Should I have gone for the Sigmar? Like. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's fine. I don't even need to. We could just auto this. Should be fine. What is Sigmar's gonna do? Oh, thank you for the tickle, Sigmaris. 
Good old Tickle Morris. The Tickle Chicken. Okay. <laughs> water, the, the Water Tickle Chicken. Guys, it's super. It's like the middle of the night here. Give me a break, alright? Give me a break. Okay, let's see. We've got the two stacks here. We've got the third stack there. Let's go Starve Apocalypse. I'm guessing we're just gonna hit everyone. Okay, so we got that. We're gonna take some damage. Is the shield gonna be enough? There we go, there we go. Very nice, and he's up to five because he gets those stacks when uh, enemies are killed. Very nice. Oh, dude, that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun, man. Oh my goodness, she's got so many. Let's do some summons. I was gonna do some more stuff, but let's do uh, let's do some summons. I was gonna do arena, but I'm like arena. We're gonna be here forever. We can do arena in a different video. Uh, let's go take a let's take a look at the other lightning emperors. Because we've got this attack power. The attack power leader skill does help, but he took out that Ritesh without even like a defense break on that. That was pretty cool. I like that. Um, Bolverk. So we got Billiger, Bolvelk, Bol Bolverk, Bolverk. Whatever. Uh, HP. So this one uh, steals one beneficial effect, 50% chance. Same thing. Learn knowledge. Gain knowledge by the number of granted beneficial effects when you or an enema, an enema, an enemy is granted with a beneficial effect. You can have up to five knowledge when you or an enemy. So this is different. This is gain knowledge passive. This is learn knowledge. So if the enemy has granted with a beneficial effect, you get this, uh, or or you, uh, this uh, when an ally is KO'd, you get that. So it's under different conditions. So this is an HP based monster. So this is more of a tanky supporty kind of thing. But he's similar to Mo Long in that he does a ton of damage. Remember, this has no cooldown. He's got an HP leader skill, no cooldown. Increases current HP of the enemy target. Uh, boss is excluded for 10% for each knowledge you have. If you have 5 knowledge, decreases target's max HP by 50%. Heals all allies by the decrease. This is crazy. Steals a beneficial effect. Right? Decreases target's max HP. So, what- this is like, effectively like a Mo Long, but he also heals everyone. Comptrose is like, we're tired of you saying that Mo Long is too broken. Here's a monster that does damage based on his max HP, steals beneficial effects, but also heals the entire team when he does his nuke. So he's Mo Long, but instead of taking damage, he heals the entire team. Okay. Okay. Uh, there you go. Oh, and it doesn't have a cooldown. I forgot that. It doesn't have a cooldown. So, if you have him and Mo Long, that's a 1-2 combo. I mentioned this in the uh, the video when we, like, saw, like, the the, the leaked, uh, not, it wasn't really leaked. It was leaked by the, the French community uh, manager or whatever. Uh, and announced it, right? Uh, but anyway, it's a nice combo with that. That could be a combo with uh, anything that does, like, burst damage, like the, the Akari's, the Dark Sylph, Sylphid, Sylphid, a uh, bunch of different things, right? So decreases target's max HP. This is a really nice counter to Ragdoll as well, uh, because it does pure damage. This is a really nice counter to uh, what else? To Camila as well, because it does pure damage as well. Uh, so those things are things with the things. This guy does have a cooldown though. Reasonable eleven turns. Uh, he's got this beneficial effect. He's got this three knowledge when an, an an enemy or ally gets defeated. He's another attack type similar to the fire one. Um, Attacks the enemy while ignoring the enemy's defense by 15% for every knowledge you have. Ignoring defense. I think this multiplier is higher than Lucian's. That's the thing. Uh, so you can ignore up to uh, 60... No, 75% of the enemy's defense. Right? 15% uh, times 5. 75% of the enemy's defense. Uh, use all your knowledge to attack while ignoring the enemy's defense. In addition, you get defeated while having your knowledge. You will use all your knowledge to be revived 20%... HP per knowledge used. So this guy, effectively, you stack him, and he is a Nat 5 version of Lucian. And his name is Odin. I got that one. That's an easy name. His name's Odin. Uh, Lucian has better base attack, but I think his multiplier is going to be very, very high. Or, or at least higher. I mean, I, it's going to be higher than Lucian. Lucian doesn't have a great multiplier, just ignores 100% of the enemy defense. But, um... Yeah, so it, it does damage, be, a lot of damage because of that, but 
this is basically uh, the Nat 5 Lucian. Which, that's one way of phasing out the Lucian meta, is just give us a Nat 5. Hey, welcome to the Odin meta. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of, that's going to be a lot of damage though. A lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, I can't wait to use him. He's going to be fun to use. I really want to, I really want to use him. Uh, then we have Geldnir. Who's got... <clears throat> Already, he's already really good, because 33% speed lead in Guild Wars. So he's already really relevant in Guild War and Guild Siege. Uh, steals one beneficial effect. That's another reason he's relevant in Guild Siege. Speed lead and steal beneficial effect. Uh, gains knowledge based on this. And then, if an ally is attacked by an enemy, uses one of your knowledge to heal the ally by 35% of the damage received. So this is going to be really hard to... Your, I mean, this is... He's going to outspeed. His team is going to outspeed. And then anytime you try to nuke the enemy, w one of his teammates, he's going to keep healing them. He kind of, you know what, he kind of feels like a paladin leader still. Doesn't he seem like a paladin kind of thing? He kind of gives me that paladin vibe. Just in general, I don't mean he seems like the light paladin. I mean he seems like a paladin type unit uh, in general. Because he's got the, the HP, whatever. Anyway. Um, heal by 75. If you have 5 knowledge, the ally will heal by 70% of the damage received. I, I want to see this kind of in more action. I don't know if I get... I don't know. I feel like I really need to see these in action to, to get the full gist of it. Uh, steals beneficial effect here. Uh, this one is also an attack power. So he the, the fire, the wind, and the dark ones are all gain stacks of knowledge when enemies die or when they have beneficial effects. The water and the light ones, um, whenever an enemy or ally is granted with a beneficial effect, right? So it's beneficial effects on either party for the water and the light ones, the HP based ones, and then the attack power ones are you you get uh, extra stacks when things die as well. So um, just to keep that in mind, there's like basically two two separate types. Uh, so anyway, we have this absorb. This is the crazy one, right? We have this resistance leader skill. Uh, absorbs 25% of your attack power per knowledge from the enemies. I feel like this guy needs to be built as a tank. Because this is insane. He absorbs 25% of your attack power and defense per knowledge from the enemy's target's attack power and defense. So, he makes the enemy into a little puppy, kitten, little flower... Jujubee, well, I don't know what a Jujubee is, but he makes the enemy into like a little kitten, like does no damage, has no defense, easy, like you blow on them and they're dead. And then he just gets massively stacked. He gets stacked like, like Jaeger, like Fire Monkey, like all that stuff. Or like, um, Dark Lich, like all, all that stuff. Oh my god, he steals! He steals their attack power and defense! STEALS! A lot! A lot! But he needs to be- he need, it needs to accumulate though. So he needs to be- I feel like he needs to be a tanky bruiser type of build. He doesn't have great base HP. Look at his base HP. Not really that great. Uh, which is I guess one of his downsides. But, if you can keep him around long enough, he's just gonna be able to pick off things like crazy. That's- that's what I'm seeing from this, so far. But anyway, guys, uh, that's it for that's it for the video. I just wanted to show, like, I just wanted to talk about the the new units. Let's see, Ooh, let's see. Are we in eight? We are in eight thousand eight. Oh, hold on. Oh, succeeded the lightning ever fusion. Nice. Okay, so let's do let's do a few summons. RNG, please. This is like I said. This is Robin Sparkles account. So let's see what we got here. Minotaurs. We're okay with no lightnings because there's new giants out. There's new three-star giants out. So let's see if maybe we get one of those. It would be nice to get one. Living armor. Bounty hunter. They're fire and water. The fire and waters are three stars. The other ones are uh, the light darks are four stars. Minotaurs, we got none of the new units. Well, we can still get them from the Unknown Scrolls. Okay, Light Dark. No lightning. No lightning. She hates me now. I know she hates me. All right. Well, anyway, we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna burst open a bunch of summons on stream, because of course I need the uh, 
super new, crazy new uh, units. But anyway, this is the... That's He's not even skilled up. That's the thing. He actually does more damage, too. Which is wonderful. Anyway, guys. This is... Uh, I just wanted to do a video on Bailiger. He seems pretty cool so far. He seems like he does a lot of damage. And I think Guild War is going to be the best place to use him. So I just wanted to show him. Uh, thank you, Robin, for letting me... Of course... Thank you, Robin, for letting me use your account, because I was too lazy. I don't have the the, the Water Samurai. I, I have one six-starred, but I don't have... Uh, I didn't have a second one, I guess. Uh, and I didn't have the stuff to fuse him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably fuse him today, anyway. But uh, I didn't have one to fuse. She fused within, like, 60 seconds of the update. I was not that fast. So, anyway, um, also we have... I mean, we already... I'm, I'm sure everyone already saw it, but just to re-go over it, yay! Uh, just to re-go over it, we have, uh, here's the fusion recipe, here's the new units, boom boom. Still gotta get this. See, these, I'm fine with these. I just don't have this water samurai fused up just yet, and I need a few more magic mids. I'm slacking, man. But the other three I have. The other three I already have, uh, awakened and five-starred and everything, ready to go. But anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.